What happens to your blood sugar level when you consume cinnamon? Cinnamon is a popular spice that many people use in cooking and baking. It not only adds flavor to foods but may also have health benefits, especially for blood sugar levels. Let's explore what happens to your blood sugar when you consume cinnamon, scientific evidence, how much cinnamon to use, and how to include cinnamon in your diet. What is blood sugar? Blood sugar, or glucose, is the amount of sugar in your blood. Your body uses glucose for energy. After you eat, your body breaks down carbohydrates from food into glucose, which enters your bloodstream. Your pancreas then releases a hormone called insulin, which helps move glucose from your blood into your cells. How cinnamon affects blood sugar. 1. Improves insulin sensitivity. A. Insulin sensitivity, when your body becomes more sensitive to insulin, it can use glucose more effectively, keeping blood sugar levels balanced. B. Cinnamon's role, some studies suggest that cinnamon can make your cells more sensitive to insulin. This means your body can use insulin more efficiently, helping to lower blood sugar levels. 2. Slows down carbohydrate breakdown. A. Carbohydrate breakdown, after eating, carbohydrates are broken down into glucose. The faster this happens, the quicker your blood sugar rises. B. Cinnamon's effect, cinnamon may slow down the breakdown of carbohydrates in your digestive system. This can lead to a slower and more gradual rise in blood sugar levels after meals. 3. Increases glucose transport into cells. A. Glucose transport, insulin helps glucose enter your cells from the bloodstream. B. Cinnamon's influence, some research indicates that cinnamon can help increase the transport of glucose into cells, which lowers the amount of sugar in your blood. 4. Mimics insulin. A. Insulin mimicry, cinnamon contains compounds that can act similarly to insulin, helping glucose move from your blood into cells. B. Health impact, this insulin-like action can help lower blood sugar levels, especially in people with insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes. Scientific evidence. A. Studies and research. Various studies have examined the effects of cinnamon on blood sugar levels. Some have found that cinnamon can lower fasting blood sugar levels and improve hemoglobin A1c, a marker of long-term blood sugar control. B. Mixed results. While many studies show positive effects, others have found no significant impact. The results can vary based on the amount of cinnamon used, the type of cinnamon, and the individual's overall health. How much cinnamon to use? A recommended amount, research suggests that consuming between 1 to 6 grams of cinnamon per day, about 1 quarter to 1 teaspoon, can be beneficial for blood sugar control. B safety note, too much cinnamon, especially cassia cinnamon, can be harmful because it contains coumarin, which can cause liver damage in large amounts. Ceylon cinnamon is a safer alternative with lower coumarin levels. How to include cinnamon in your diet? 1. Add to breakfast, sprinkle cinnamon on oatmeal, yogurt, or smoothies. 2. In baking, use cinnamon in baking recipes like muffins, pancakes, or cookies. 3. Beverages, add cinnamon to coffee, tea, or hot chocolate. 4. Cooking, add cinnamon to delicious dishes like curries or stews for a unique flavor. Consuming cinnamon can have a positive effect on blood sugar levels by improving insulin sensitivity, slowing carbohydrate breakdown, increasing glucose transport into cells, and mimicking insulin. However, results can vary, and it's important to use the right type and amount of cinnamon. Always consult with a healthcare professional before making significant changes to your diet, especially if you have diabetes or other health conditions. By including a moderate amount of cinnamon in your diet, you may enjoy not only its delicious flavor but also its potential health benefits. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about our latest uploads.